All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be focusing on the most common question we get asked frequently, and that is how do I wash my ceramic coated vehicle or how do I maintain it? Um, we also get people that are asking, can I wash my paint protection film car just the same way that I wash a regular car? And the answer is yes. We'll do a in-depth tutorial on how we wash our cars, how we maintain ceramic coated vehicles, and um, it'll be a lot of fun. So. That's what's coming up on this episode. So I've got my wheel bucket here. It's always important to have three different buckets. You'll have your wash bucket, your rinse bucket, and you'll also have your wheels bucket. Um, right now we'll focus on the wheel bucket. The wheel bucket right now um, it's just filled with water and a little bit of soap. Um, you can use really any kind of soap. Sometimes people put degreases in here. And then we've got a APC right here. So this is just an all purpose cleaner. What we're gonna do first is we're going to rinse the wheel off. We'll hit it with the APC, use our soft brushes, make sure we don't scratch you know, the gloss. Um, and then we'll get into the crevices with this deep wheel brush. So that's what we'll do right now. So as I mentioned before, we're going to rinse off any dirt or debris on this wheel before we hit it with our APC or our all-purpose cleaner. Your APC should be the appropriate ratio suggested on the label. For ours, we have a medium cut ratio to get rid of any brake dust or grime from the road, but not too heavy to prevent any damage to the finish. After that, we're going to use our very soft bristle brush to clean the wheels. You can use a separate wash mitt designated to only wheels if you'd like, and then we use the wheel rim brush to go in those deep areas to clean any brake dust that is sitting in the wheel. As you notice during the rinse stage, that sort of brown residue, that's all the grease that was left on the tires. If those are really dark or even brown looking on your tires, you may want to use a tire brush and hit those tires again with the APC. But in this case, the tires weren't dirty enough to warrant a second wash. And now here's the difference between the wheel we just washed and the others waiting to be cleaned. So we'll go ahead and wash the rest of the wheels and tires. Um, and then after that, we'll go ahead and get to how we're gonna wash this car. So next up, we're gonna hit it with a pre-rinse. This is gonna get just the majority of the dirt off. This is just an important step in the wash process so that when you start to wash your car, you're not dragging any just dirt that's sitting on top of the car all over your car, creating swirls and scratches. And then after that, we're gonna foam it up, so. So before we foam it up, I wanted to go over our wash buckets. We've got our wash bucket right here, which is we've got our um, wash mitt in here and we've got uh, two caps full of soap. The soap that we're using is Max Suds 2 by Chemical Guys. Um, but obviously you can use any kind of soap you want as long as it's got a silica based soap in there. The soap kind of helps your coating. So that's what we've got in this. And then this is just straight up water. Uh, this is where you will wash your vehicle. You'll use this mitt, you'll wash it, and then you'll rinse it. We have these uh, grit guards in here. These grit guards uh, trap all of the dirt that's from this wash mitt. 
it'll trap it and keep it down underneath this grit guard. And so anytime you're rinsing your mitt, you'll wanna like wipe along your grit guard. Then it'll be good to dip it back into the wash bucket and go back to washing. So that's what the wash buckets are for. Um, it's just to help prevent any more swirls that might happen to your vehicle. So we've got a little bit of cloud coverage, which is good. So we'll go ahead and foam this. What we've got here is a foam cannon um, and our pressure washer. So we've got about two caps full of that same Max Eds 2 in this, and then the rest filled with warm water. So we're gonna go ahead and foam it. I don't know if the sun is going to come back out. If it does, we'll just do half of it, you know, work our way on both sides. We'll do one half, rinse it, do the other half, rinse it. But if it stays like this, we might do the whole vehicle. Um, but anyway, you wanna foam from top to bottom, uh, and then we'll just get to it. So you'll want to grab your mitt, and like I said, you want to start from top to bottom. So we'll start here with the windshield. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll also do the roof while we're at it. And we'll do this rear glass all in one. All right, then you can flip your mitt over and do this side of the hood as well. All right, then we'll go over here, we'll dip in the rinse bucket. And then we'll wash, we'll put it in the wash bucket. All right, let's do this front bumper. This vehicle does have paint protection film on the full front. So right now we're just washing the Paint protection film. All right, dip it again in your rinse bucket. Now with the sides, you wanna do the top half of it with one side of your mitt. So we'll, we'll do one half, the top half, with one side of the mitt, and then we'll flip it over, and we'll do the bottom side, just because the bottom side of your vehicle tends to get the most dirt. The top of your vehicle, when it's coated, it's gonna look like it's not even dirty, just because the coating works really well on the top. Um, but once you get down to the bottom, that's where a lot of the dirt, the road debris kind of starts to build up on that side of the vehicle. And so you'll want to, you know, make sure you pay attention to that. And then flip it over and we'll do that bottom side. That side is done, so we'll go ahead and rinse that um, and then we'll work on the other side. Time to move on to the other side. So the car is beating pretty well, but it has been coated a long time ago. So it's coming up on its uh, time to boost it. So once we do this, we'll pull it into the shop, we'll dry it off, and then we'll use our uh, ceramic booster that you should have gotten when you got your car boosted by us. Or if you didn't get it uh, coated by us, there are a lot of different um, ceramic boosts out there on the market. You can just pick one up and do yourself, so. All right, so now we have the car inside, which is a great place to dry your vehicle off. Drying process is one of the most important processes of the wash process. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually use a leaf blower and we recommend this um, nine times out of 10 if you can. This will eliminate any chance that you have of swirling the paint. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna boost the coating that's on it right now. 
So let's go ahead and jump into it. Now we are going to boost it with our, we're going to use our Expel ceramic boost. Uh, again, you can use that if you got it done by us or an Expel dealer. Um, you can use this, or if you didn't get it coated by us or an Expel dealer, you can get any kind of ceramic boost that's out there on the market. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to spray our towel a good bit, and we're going to apply it. We're going to move. We're going to do sections of each panel. Um, this is going to be the best way to do it so that the coating doesn't dry onto the vehicle. Flip it over and buff it out. I'm just using a really plush microfiber, but you can use the microfiber we give you or a microfiber towel you can find online or at your local detail store. Preferably edgeless, but you know, that's a little asking for too much. We like edgeless because that literally leaves no room for causing any kind of scratches on your paint. What I mean by edgeless is there's literally no edge on the microfiber, but there's no edge on that. We'll hit everything, the glass, the roof, mirrors, plastic trim, anything that was coated, um, the wheel faces as well. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for the Honda Civic. That is how we uh, properly maintain and wash our ceramic coated vehicles, our paint protection film vehicles. We hope you learned a little bit of our processes, our wash and rinse and wheel buckets, um, the soft brushes that we use, the microfiber mitts that we use, um, microfiber towels, edgeless towels. All of that is how you can accomplish in keeping your car looking really good and keeping it clean. That is gonna do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, subscribe. Hit that like button if you can, and we'll see you guys in the next video.